morning, welcome back. And all I gotta say is, hey, it's been a while since you saw my face. People have started rumors about me that aren't true and I'm here to address that. I don't know if my ukulele with me right now and my team did advise me not to say anything, but... He didn't say I couldn't say. Whoa, oh my god, who threw that? So the concert goer experience is a unique one that brings out some of the worst in people. Whoever invented it really made sure that we'd revert back to our animal instincts. It really is survival of the fittest out here. Fighting over concert tickets through Ticketmaster is the prequel to the actual battle itself. What do you mean tickets for best-selling pop artist Tay Lee Smith with three E's sold out in 10 seconds? That's possible? Is there even a point of signing up for pre-sales when the bots buy them all up before the humans do? Once you get past that hurdle and you're finally standing in the pit with all the hardcore fans that finna be in the pit. Something about being packed like sardines at a concert venue really makes people forget how to act. It's understandable though, seeing an idol or celebrity and realizing they're an actual person. Oh, so you're not a simulation. Made by billion dollar corporations investing into AI generating celebrity technology. <laughs> Thank god, these days, who even knows what's real or not? Did Patrick Starr really sing a cover of Unbreak My Heart? I believe that. Concerts are one of the only places where it's acceptable to just scream without getting any weird looks. Hey, it is a great stress reliever, but the power of being anonymous in a crowd really makes people think they can get away with anything, and the intrusive thoughts are definitely intruding. It's basically an internet comment section in real life, except the comments are random objects being hurled at singers. Even in a sea of people, you're not really hidden. Everyone's a CCTV nowadays with their iPhone 5s and Panasonic camcorders. Anyone else still writing 2018 on their government forms? Recently, we've seen some pretty insane footage of people thinking concert venues are a place to cause chaos for no reason. Obviously, there's been some crazier things that happened, but I can't show that on YouTube. But these are the weirdest ones recently, and you would never guess what someone handed a teenager in the middle of performing high-level K-pop choreo. Is this what we've become as a society? Using our arms to throw objects at celebrities like we're at a carnival, when you could be using your arms to join Skillshare. If you're looking to pick up a hobby over the summer, or learn new skills that open up your future to more career possibilities, Abilities, Skillshare is the place to do it. From learning the best productivity routines, how to make your own clothes, all the way to the basics of setting up your own business, there's something for everyone. Last time, I took a class on how to make different types of sauces, and I'm sort of feeling like I'm in my chef era right now. Definitely not cooking like a chef, like a five-star Michelin just yet, but maybe like one-tenth of a Michelin star. This time, I learned how to make the perfect grilled cheese by taking the class mini class to master the sandwich taught by Alana Karp. I've made grilled cheese plenty of times by following recipes online, but how Having a professional chef teach me new techniques and ingredients to add on, my sandwiches never tasted better, and it only took 10 minutes. For busy people with loaded schedules, or anyone looking to dedicate time to owning their craft, you can learn at your own pace or whenever you find the time since Skillshare teachers will be there to guide you step by step. If you're ready to join the online learning community with thousands of inspiring and career-focused classes, the first thousand of my viewers to join through my link in the description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare so you can achieve your new career goals this year. There's been a rise of this phenomenon concert attendees becoming more unhinged every year for no apparent reason. Well, there might be several reasons why people started doing stuff like this. The main ones being clout and attention. What's the best way to get a singer's attention in a crowd of faceless bodies than by attacking them? Something about that seems wrong. Doesn't that sound wrong? Last month, BB Rexa performed at an outdoor venue, and right when she was about to finish her set, she had a brick of a phone thrown at her face by a self-proclaimed fan that just wanted her to take a selfie, or so he says. If you've ever dropped a phone on your face while lying down, first of all, that's like one of the top 10 most embarrassing things you can do. Second of all, you would know how much it feels like you ran nose first into a wall. Thank god life isn't a simulation and the people controlling us can't see the embarrassing things that we do. Even though the distance is only a few inches, you are still checking to see if your nose is broken. That's how much it hurts. Now imagine the speed and velocity the BB Rexaphone was traveling at. You could do some pretty serious damage hurling projectiles from that distance. Afterwards, she had to go to the hospital and get stitched for her injuries, and the guy that threw the phone was kicked out of the concert, sent to jail, and everyone lived happily ever after in a world where the justice system does its job.
Just kidding. The man accused of throwing a phone as singer B.B. Rexa during a Manhattan concert appeared before a judge tonight. His attorney said that he did it because of a social media trend. Is there anything you want people to know? 27-year-old Nicholas Malvagna was silent Monday as he left Manhattan criminal court, released on his own recognizance. His lawyer, Todd Spodek. Why was the phone thrown? I think this is a common, unfortunate trend that's going on that a lot of concert goers do. Uh, I don't think he had any intention whatsoever to hurt the singer. Yeah, in this economy where groceries cost more than eating out, didn't think there would be fair consequences to people's terrible actions. That's too expensive for the government. This is another case of getting bit by the clout bug. Symptoms are doing dumb sh** until you get your 15 minutes of fame on the internet. He says security asked who threw the phone, and Mel Vagna said, I did, and added, I was trying to see if I could hit her with the phone at the end of the show because it would be funny. Something tells me this guy probably knew what he was doing. There is actually a trend of fans throwing their phones on stage, so the singer can take a selfie with it and then hand it back, which is relatively harmless when your fans have good aim. So of course this guy would use that as a shield and blame everything on him just having bad aim. It's a skill issue. Unfortunately, he did achieve his goal of appearing on TV and being known as the guy that traumatized BB Rexa. Whether it's good or bad, Cloud Goblins are going to be demonic for any drop of attention they can get. After this event went viral, we seem to have the snowball effect of concert goers forgetting how to act in public. Kelsey Ballerini is another female artist that got hit in the face with a phone, pretty much within the same time frame as BB Rexa. It wasn't as bad as BB Rexa's, but she was visibly stunned as to what happened. Who wouldn't be? Other than Harry Styles. He is one of the biggest victims of getting things thrown at him at concerts. Water bottles, chicken nuggets, even Skittles that could have blinded him. Harry Styles has been pretty open about supporting the LGBT community, but I don't think he literally meant he wanted to taste the rainbow. There's also a concerning amount of videos of him getting hit in the crotch with shoes and sunglasses. You can search it up yourself, but my god, this man won't be able to have kids in a year if this keeps up. This is so bad. But why can't I look away? We even had someone go one step further recently. Someone actually went on stage and hit Ava Max, who's another female pop singer. And it definitely seems like this is happening more to women. Ava Max isn't really known as a controversial figure. People were confused about this guy's intentions. Why? We can't even vibe in public anymore without being in fight or flight mode. Charlie Puth even went onto Twitter and said, Hey guys, let's not. This trend of throwing things at performers while they're on stage must come to an end. BB, Ava, and now Kelsey Ballerini, it's so disrespectful and very dangerous. Please just enjoy the music, I beg you. Eventually, artists are going to stop performing altogether if things keep escalating like this. All live performances are going to be replaced with a cardboard cutout and a voiceover recorded a day ago. Wait a second, if that's the case, are ticket prices going to be cheaper at least? Because I'd probably still pay to see that. It's this weird reasoning that fans come up with about celebrities. Once you reach a certain level of fame, you're not a real person anymore. You're just a rich, famous person whose job is to entertain us regular civilians that spent our paychecks on expensive concert tickets. Your performance better be entertaining or we'll make it entertaining ourselves. Which is very scary to think. Pink, not the color of brand, but the singer, well known for not having any songs that requires two wire attachments and choreography made for a fighter jet. Her live shows are… something. 
Just kidding, they're great. <laughs> main dancer, main vocal, main aerial trapeze artist of the group. What can she do? Because of the randomness of her live shows, her fans can also be silly and goofy at times. Especially her European fans that somehow got an entire wheel of brie to her as she's performing. Well, this one was in hinge for sure, but in a good way. Who wouldn't get hungry after attempting to break through the sound barrier on a Friday afternoon? And no singers were hurt, so that's great. Just wondering though, do they not have tight-knit security at these concerts? I know they let you keep important things like your phone, your wallet, and your keys. Maybe I'm just traumatized from airport security yelling at me because I'm not taking my shoes off fast enough. You want to bring in a giant wheel of cheese at a concert? Well, I guess it should be fine. They could have just told security it was their lunch. But what if it was a plastic bag full of mysterious powder labeled as mom? Oh my god. That bag is holding someone's parent. Good thing it wasn't particularly windy that day because this person's mom would have been hugging the entire crowd through their nostrils. Pink isn't flying around at every concert just so you can throw ashes at her. Well, I guess if you can spin around 50 feet in the air with no fear, nothing can really faze you. First deceased parents, what's next? Passing your newborn to a K-pop idol? Oh God. I was just kidding. So the K-pop group Nmix made out of teenagers and 20 year olds had to deal with a baby being thrust onto the stage with no warning whatsoever. <laughs> They do have lyrics that say goo goo gaga, but it's not meant for this age group. You know what? Good for Kyunjin. This 17 year old reacted better than most adults would in this situation. If that was me, I'd probably give my default answer when someone asks me if I want to hold their baby. Oh, no thanks. I'm allergic. I got nothing to say except several calls to CPS were made that night, and they were either concerned, thought this was a prank call, or they were just vibing to some K-pop on the job. There should be an age limit at these shows. If you want to attend a concert, at least be of walking age or bigger than a subway foot long. Do babies even have ears at this point? I'm old, and after these loud ass concerts, I feel like I'm Ariel underwater, talking to flounder with earmuffs on. We live in a culture where we idolize celebrities, but also treat them as our own personal playthings after paying for a concert ticket. Why is everything so weird and confusing. I know this is a big ask, but let's try and act civilized before someone gets seriously hurt. Like I said before, if people keep this up, artists are eventually going to stop performing live, or it'll just be a hologram of them while they sing over a backtrack like a K-pop concert in 2085. Don't be the person that ruins everything for everyone else. Go play some video games or go touch a sport if you want to throw things at a moving object. Or maybe the singer should just start fighting back, like Adele. Also, the YouTube algorithm can't aim at itself, so throw a like at it, and I'll get to see you on your recommended page because of your engagement. Feel free to follow me on Instagram if you feel like it. Have a good one, try not to be dumb, and see you in the next one.